We're here at Ramblewood Golf Course doing a remix video. The course is about 20 to 30 minutes, no traffic, to Philadelphia in central Jersey. Here at the first hole of Ramblewood. Of course, we've been looking forward to getting back and playing. Now, Ramblewood has a total of 27 holes to choose from. They got three nine hole courses here. I'm here at the blue course. It's gonna be your decision if this is the course you wanna play here. I got the red course, which I thought was more picturesque, but now playing the blue course, I, I think that this could be the winner. There's also the white course. Nice to be out here. Okay. It's a cool infrastructure they have here as well. And since I've played it, at least on the red course, we didn't see these massive updates. Playing that blue course, some of them are far. This par five is 500 yards. If you can get it 300, you got a shot on it too. The blue course stretches along 3,158 yards, so it's pretty challenging. The blue course is actually the last design course. What you'll find here, you got a shot at birdie if you get up and down. I think that's where I want to miss. A lot of the courses I've played so far in the winter time do not have multiple tee boxes to choose from. Here, we have four different tee boxes to choose from, even in the winter time. The course itself was designed by Ed Olt in 1962. I love Ed. He built a ton of golf in the Philadelphia area. We're learning a lot more about these type of golf courses. Come on, get up. Get there. You serious? You can almost see reminisce of the old patch underneath that. It's interesting. I'm assuming I'm on the white course, but I get off the blue course. That's it. it. You could find yourself getting a little backwards out here. Get in. Get in the hole. Aww. The course is in way better shape than I played it last time. I don't know if there's new superintendents or what's going on. We're pumping money into these type of courses, Jaworski hats off. But being a Ron Jaworski course, they take care of it. They have over six or seven courses total. Now, since I've played this golf course, we haven't seen major updates to the tee boxes, but right now I can tell you that they're in great shape. Everything about the course seems legit. They've been pumping money into it. They've got a nice car path. Doing the work on the course, the maintenance crew, those are the folks that we're really in the future gonna rely on for interviews. And here at Ramblewood Golf Course, we had one reach out. So we were hoping to re kind of connect today, but you know, just like golf, it's a game of miss. Uh, free to hit it. And the goal moving forward is to interview these superintendents, managers, GMs at the golf courses learn about them, maybe even bring some pastries or donuts along the way, and just enjoy educational golf content that this hobby-based channel is all about. Uh, this is interesting. 